This is the iodine clock, a split-second chemical reaction suitable for a time loop. To create this jaw-dropping effect, I'll first add a small amount of sodium iodate into a small beaker of water. Mix it up just a bit and place it to the side. Next, I'll grab another small beaker of water and add a bit of sodium sulfite, some citric acid, and finally some starch. We'll mix all this up a bit too. Now I'm going to pour both solutions into a flask and we should see some magic. Hmm. Maybe I did this wrong. Holy sh**. Alright, so we obviously had a delay in the reaction, but why? Well, there's actually several reactions occurring invisibly. We only see the final one. Now pay attention. First, the iodate and sulfite battle it out, forming iodide. Then, the iodide reacts with the citric acid and the remaining iodate to form iodine. Then, the iodine turns back into iodide, and the process repeats over and over again like a time loop until all of the sulfite is used up. Once the sulfite is gone, the iodine reacts with the starch and instantly turns black. Basically, all the previous chemical reactions are only delaying the final one, which is why we call this a clock reaction. The best part is we can change it back by adding several sodium thiosophate crystals to the mix and stirring a bit. It's going to dissolve the dark color, bringing it back to clear. Did I get something wrong? Do you have a suggestion of your own? What is your favorite dinosaur from the Paleozoic period? Post in the comments below. We'll see you next time.